team coverage this afternoon. News 15's Aliyah Red joins us live at the Scott Fire Department. Aliyah, good afternoon. How is the fire department preparing for the impending severe weather? Yeah, so I'm here at the Scott Fire Department and I've been speaking to some of the firefighters about what they're doing to prepare for the severe weather and all the anticipated impacts of it. So basically they've been telling me that they have gotten their fire truck ready. What they do is they make sure it's filled with fuel. They get the water pumps. Well, these are the the hoses up here, they make sure that there's enough water for uh, the water pumps and they also make sure that there's enough water equipment and stuff ready for if they have to do a water rescue. Now they're saying if anyone is uh, going to go out that they probably shouldn't if they do not have to. If the water is high, do not drive is what they're saying. Again, if the water is high, do not drive. They're saying that they don't really want to have to uh, deal with any issues that they that can be prevented. So if you have to go out, uh, it's probably best that you just wait and uh, wait for the weather to pass through. But they're also uh, they've also received only one call and that call was actually a false alarm. They're saying that the gust of wind, they're moving so quickly that they're said that they at least have set off at least one uh, false fire alarm. And that's just something that they're dealing with and may have to deal with. But um, they are saying so far that just stay home, stay safe and stay dry. Live in Lafayette at the Scott Fire Department, which is very windy, Aaliyah Red. News 15. Sending it back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Aaliyah. We're going to check back in.